Thank you very much for this opportunity to speak to your conference. It is, as my daughter might say, awesome to have the chance to address all of you, eminent leaders who bring so much political wisdom from your service as presidents and prime ministers to the key priority of today. And that priority is jobs. For countries at all levels of development, an adequate supply of decent jobs is the foundation of sustained and growing prosperity, inclusion and social cohesion. And where jobs are scarce or available livelihoods leave households in poverty, there is less growth, less security, less human and economic development and less social justice. Jobs connect people to their society and to the economy. They are the most powerful vectors of inclusion and mobility that we have. Safe, productive and fairly remunerated work as a wage employee or as an owner-operator of a small business is the way women and men and their families gain self-esteem, a sense of belonging to a community and the opportunity to make a productive contribution to social progress. Your call for inclusive growth to the G20, to the UN and to today's presidents and prime ministers is exactly what we need to hear. It is what the young women and young men who are increasingly desperate for the chance to show what they can do expect of us all. So congratulations. Congratulations on your work at the annual conference. Congratulations for all the magnificent work that you do the year round supporting democratic development, shared societies and conflict reconciliation. The ILO is pleased to be your knowledge partner for this conference and we will continue to support your efforts to take the message of building societies that work all around the world. I look forward to seeing you, President Koch, Vim, at an early opportunity to discuss just how we can best do that. So my best wishes to all of you in sunny Coolum Beach from a wintry Geneva. Good luck.